So this is our capstone game of the night. A lot of bad feelings between these teams. And we're kind of on a rut. We, it is, like I said, it is definitely Friday the 13th. We have lost three out of our last four. We have the 25 and nine Larry Ballers. We're still in single digit losses, so it's nothing to panic about now. We have J2, John Jeremy on the mound. It seems just like yesterday he was on the mound again. I think we started the night with him. He's four and two with a 3.57 ERA. We have the Soul Takers who are 21 and 13. They've got Brooke Yaft on the mound. She is undefeated, three and zero with a 2.75 ERA. Now we'll have to see if Azura is starting tonight. He may not be starting as he's a catcher and they wear down. So this is interesting. They're trying to stay on top. They're trying to get back up on top of their division. We're trying to stay on top of ours. If you look at the standings, they are a half a game back. So if they beat us, they are tied with the Moonstars for the lead. We lose, we're only going to be two games ahead of the Monarchy. So it's a big game for both teams. So let's get a look at the lineup. Got a lot of people that are just locked in. I think we'll go with this lineup. All right, let's get pumped up. Pumped up. We need this. We need this. We need to be a winning team. We need to take it home. We know no soul taking the night. Hell is closed. They are playing in their home field. We're at, oh my God, this is terrible. Uh, oh, it doesn't look like he's playing. They got a second baseman playing out of position though. Travis the Unknown, Captain Pete and SKS plays leading off here. We're in the Tiki Lounge. Dole Takers taking the field. It's Friday the 13th. Souls are loosely attached. So Azur is not even... I th that's Azur standing right over there. Look at the traitor. He's on the left of the screen. Oh, my God. He's going to come in the pinch hit probably. One and one. Oh, cop strike two. One and two now. He went after that one, and that's a strikeout. Now Here's Captain Pete. 15, the center field. Oh my God. One and two to Pete. He hits that one down the line, just fades foul. And he'll swing and miss. That's two strikeouts to start the game for Yaft. Now batting number 22, the second base. That brings up SKS. SKS hits that one, but not a lot of power, and that's going to be a pop-up to center. One, two, three inning for the ballers. Nero Reynolds, Gabrielle Rodriguez, and Greco Dozen Rolls up for the Soul Takers. Here's Nero Reynolds. We've never faced any of these people before. J2's task. The fans look very hostile today. That ball is crushed. Heat running back for it to the warning track. He'll catch it. Thank God they have a 433-foot wall in center. Here's Gabriel Rodriguez. He fouls it off into the dugout. Oh, no. Ground ball, hits in the shadow, throw made, in time, two outs. Azur is over there every time they show a, a right-handed batter. Or a left-handed batter, excuse me. Ground ball, SKS is there. 
That's a 1-2-3 inning for the Soul Takers. We go to the second, Lethal D Feline. Least expected, Reaver Axis do up. I'm over there praying. Here is Lethal D Feline. The first base. Lethal crushes that one. Left fielder on the run. Does not make the catch. It gets to the wall and bounces. Lethal goes around, takes the second. That is a sand up double to lead the second inning here. Now batting number 23. The, third the runner on second. No outs now. Here's least expected. Ground ball up the middle. That's probably going to send the runner home. Here comes Lethal. Here comes the throw. No. They don't even contest it. One nothing, Larry Ballers. Here's Reaver. He's still batting 316. Leith, a Reaver crushes that one. Does it get enough to get to the wall? Yes, a home run. The bats wake up. Revenge on Azur and the Soul Takers. A 406 foot home run, his 12th of the season. He leads the team in home runs. That brings up why so slow. So it's 3 nothing here in the top of the second. Still plenty of game. Nice hit there, but right to the center fielder, Dozen Rose. Now batting. Whoever named this team didn't even try hard. Here's an Oni. Ball one. Popped back foul. Oh, one and one. Ground ball. That's a base hit for an Oni. Here's J2, John Jeremy, the pitcher. He's up. Looking for a hit this year. That's right to the first baseman. Ooh, they almost got a backwards double play. So J2 out. Moves the runner to second. Here's Travis the Unknown. I know he's showing he can hit. To a Zer over there on the bench. Two and one. Three and one to Travis. And that's a walk. So that puts two runners on. That brings up Captain Pete again. And Captain Pete. Show what he's capable of. Two and oh to Pete. He crushes that into the gap. That's going to bring at least one run in. The runners are still going. They're sending the second runner. Pete holds up at second. Here comes in. That's a two RBI double for Captain Pete. Now batting, number 22, the second We're season. still in the second. It is five nothing. SKS crushes that one, but right at the shortstop, and that should end the savagery, and it does. Five runs second. Ballers taking control of this game early. Again, Grin French, Dave Smacks, and Marlon Porpetta. Do up. Now batting number 69, the third base. Here's Grin Finch. J2 got some security now. We got it. We got it. Oh, nice. Can he make the throw? In time, we get a call from the up. Here's Dave Smacks. Nice throw from Lethal. Or not Lethal, but uh, least expected. Excuse me. Down ball. SKS is there. SKS has ended the batting both innings for the ballers. Now batting number 26. I really thought that blonde-headed girl in the crowd there was naked. But her shirt is the same color as her, so. Oh, giving us a call there. That was not in his...
Okay, I was gonna say, we got that one. Terrible pitch. All right, JT. And that's strike three. Holy crap. Lethal deep feline, least expected reaver axis due up. All three had hits their first at bats. Now batting number 86, the first baseman. I'm gonna miss on that one. Dropped a little bit more on me. That one's hit well. It's headed for the fence. Did Lethal put enough on it? It's out of here. Another home run for the ballers, and they add one more to their total. Holy crap, 419 feet. That's Lethal's 10th home run of the year, her 31st RBI. That'll bring up least expected. Rook is rattled. That was hit, and right fielder makes the run. Porpetta with the catch. Now to bring up Reaver. He hit a home run earlier, two run shot. It's high, ball one. That's a base hit to right field. That puts a runner on first, one out. Things up why so slow. The right That's oh gonna get through, and that is gonna be a base hit for why so slow. So two on with one out now on the top of the third. Now batting number 38. Brings up a Noni McLarge. A Noni, a little bunt hit. It moves the runners. He doesn't outrun it, but the runners are now on second. And third. Now back, number two, the pitcher. That brings up J2. Did J2 get a hit here? Did J2 get a hit and bring in runs? The answer is no. That ends the top of the third. When we go to the bottom. It sticks nothing. Noggin, Fellows, Yaft, do up for the Soul Takers. Humana, 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 how can I cut up to the little superstore? Now batting. Here's Number Noggin, three. he's already tense. A2 just commanding pitches today. Bad pitch. Called strike three, he didn't even go for it. Base. Here's Franco Fellers. Fellows. Pops that one up. A Noni. Fetches it on the on deck circle. That's two outs. Oh my god, look at her stats where she's rattled. Are they going to take her out? They're going to let her hit. They're leaving Brooke Yaft in there. J2 is underneath that one and will make the catch, and that's a 1 2 3 inning. We go to the fourth. It's still 6 0. Travis the Unknown, Captain Pete, and SKS do up. Now back, number three, the left fielder. Travis the Unknown drew a walk earlier. Ball hit, and that's going to be a base hit to left field for Travis. The leadoff hitter gets on, and that brings up Captain now Pete. He's one for two. Two RBIs tonight. Had a double. That one's crushed. That one's headed toward the wall. Runners hold him back, though. And they make the catch. Of course they do. Caught at the wall. Robbed. Number There's your pop-up, the Pete. Base. That brings up SKS. Oh, 
Round ball. Travis running the second. He's going to get there. SKS is 0 for 3. Now batting. Brings up Lethal. She's 2 for 2. Double. Home run. Got an RBI. That's going to be a base hit in the center field. Runner coming home. It's going to be close. That's in there. Another RBI for Lethal. Mark it on the board. Now batting. Number 23. The third base. Lethal takes off. Pitch was slow. Lethal is in there. Least expected. That's popped up the center. That's probably going to bring the inning to an end or the side. And it does. Another run tacked on. 7 nothing. Soul Takers failed to show up here at home. They must have stayed up in the hills. Nero Reynolds, Gabrielle Rodriguez, Greco Dozen Rose do up in the bottom of the fourth. Now batting, number 14, the left fielder. But Sir James is wondering why he didn't get this kind of run support. Here's Gabriel Rodriguez. He's batting 314 on the season, but 0 for 1 today. And that's just over top of Reaver's head. Oh, I threw it the first. Um, oh, and he went the second. Clever girl. How did he know I threw it there? So, Larry Ballers have a, or excuse me, the Soul Takers have a runner on second. One out. They're trying to get on the board. Oh, he stopped, but he went. Nice slide there by Reaver. The two outs, Bryn Finch, a chance to knock in a run here. Can J2 stop it? No. Soul takers are on the board. Now back, number 24, the catcher. J2 gives up his first run of the day. out. SKS throws it, and it is. We go to the fifth. 7-1. Reaver Axis, why so slow? And Noni McLarge do up. They have the backup squad. Is that why Azur's on the bench? Now batting. That doesn't make sense, Pete. Why would they do that? Here's Reaver. Crushed into center field. That's going to be a leadoff hit here in the top of the fifth. Well, for one, they've not took their pitcher out, and she is just finally. Brooke Yath leaves after giving up seven runs. Viv McGregor is coming into the game. She's got a four-seam fastball, a slider, and a curveball. First pitch in there. She looks like she's all business. Runner goes, popped up. Runner retreats. Now batting number brings up Anoni. Pop that one back if it stays in play. Yeah, okay. See that dive he was going for? Two and one, Tononi. Mm, swing and miss. Oh, right back to the pitcher. Anoni robbed of a hit, and that's two outs. And that brings up J2. Right down the pipe. 101 miles per hour. Look at her stats. Day two. Thought he was going to get his first hit. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Corpetta, Noggin, Bellows. Soul Taker's trying to slowly climb back into this game. Now back, number 27, the right fielder. Bobo. 
Hush. We uh we are one and three tonight in games. If we win this, we'll end the night still with a losing record. Strike three call. We started the night off with a loss to the Overdogs. We beat the Wild Pigs, and then we lost two straight to the Wild Pigs. The win here. Oh, that's a nice hit. That's going to make it to the wall. That's going to be extra bases. Pete running after it. Here comes the throw in. He is definitely going to hold off at second. So a one-out double. Soul Takers trying to slowly whittle that lead down. Here's Franco Fellows. Nice pitch there. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, and he missed it. <laughs> well, Bobo, we'll, we'll see how it goes when we get to the playoffs. The playoffs are my kryptonite. I'm going to miss there. Can J2 get her out? And he does. Holy crap, J2 bringing his A game there in the fifth. Top of the order due up for the ballers. Here in the top of the six, Travis the Unknown, Captain Pete, and SKS. Now batting number three, the left fielder. Right. One and one to Travis. Oh, he was there. One and two. Man, she's got so much curve on that pitch. That is crazy. Here's Captain Pete. He's got two RBIs. He is two, one for three tonight. Rob, that should have been a shot in the center field, and she snags it out of the air. Wow. You were robbed, Pete. She, like, her animation. That's going to roll back fair, isn't it? Are you kidding me? Game, you can't do that to me. That is crap. First, we have a pitcher who's at the end of her ro rotation, throwing back her glove and catching it, and then that rolled back in. Oh, nice glove by Lethal. That brings up Gabrielle Rodriguez. We're in the bottom of the sixth, one out already. We were speechless up here in the booth. After that play, last inning. Last half of the inning, excuse me. Oh, come on, come on, come on, make the throw, make the throw! Nice defense, least expected. Here's Greco Dozen Rolls. That's bad throw, or bad, <laughs> whatever. Ball strike. J2 get him here. Oh. Not throwing the screwball much. Ground ball. SKS is there. Routine. That will end the sixth. We go to the seventh. Still a six run lead for the ballers. Lethal. Least expected. Reaver. You up. <clears throat> Single double home run. Lethal needs a triple. Well, that doesn't put any pressure on me, does it? Who know? That's not going to happen there. Ah, she's fast, but not that fast. Just still get the bat one more time, I think. Here's least expected. Uh, you know. 
That one's hit well to the gap. Man, why couldn't Lethal have done that? Run, throw coming in. Yeah, see, this is a triple right here. Ah, uh, we were one batter away. It would have been. I've not done the cycle thing yet, so that would have been an achievement. Here's Reaver. He's three for three. Hit here probably rings in the run. That is a base hit up the middle, and that will be an RBI single. Eight one. Ballers commanding. This is why they lead the division. Here's why so slow. It's like, oh, you swung. Why so slow is injured with a meniscus tear? What? I am in shock. I don't even know what to say at this point. Chopper. Holy crap. Wrench smacks Porpetta do up here in the seventh. Well, we're gonna have to sub him. Yeah, yeah, he's weak. Um, we'll put Novamans in. I was wondering why he swung like that. That's. Huh. That seemed like that was a little pre-programmed. Nice dive. Reaver. Throw. Perfect. We could film a video of that and teach the kids. Charge them $24.99. Put it on commercial during Sports Center in the morning. Boom. We can retire. J2 should handle that with ease. And he does. Now batting number 26. Here's Marlon Porpetta. Oh, SKS. At least I kept it from getting in the outfield. At least I didn't knock it anywhere with my junk. And that's going to be another base hit. Oh, the runners going to third. They're being frisky today. The runners on the corners, two outs. That brings up Franco Fellows. No. They're bringing in Azura Alliance to pinch hit. Oh, here we go. I don't even know. Oh, the, the tension is real. How do we make it more tension filled? Azura Alliance coming into the game to pinch hit against his own team. Dude. Two runners on, multiple outs. Can he come through? Day two, goes to throw, strike one. Ball hit, it's a base hit, it's gonna score at least one as Zer comes through for the Zoltakers. That brings up Vig McGregor, the relief pitcher. Are they gonna let her bat? No, they're bringing in Ward Grubbs. Runners on first and second. Two outs. Bottom of the seventh. Bullpen starting to churn for the ballers. 0 oh 2. Can J2 get out of this? Swing and a miss. Holy crap. They're bringing in Ethan Mostest to close. That might be all we see of Azur, because they didn't do a double switch. We're in the eighth, still a six run game. J2 leading off. Now that number two. They're putting Nope, they're taking Azur out and putting Rowan Flounder in. 
and we'll see if J2 can get a hit here. Azura's like, I've done my job. Full we'll count to J2. I swung it ball four. <clears throat> Here's Travis the unknown. Get right back to the pitcher. Two away. Azura, you should have appreciated the buildup that I did for you, though. Here's Captain Pete. One for four today. One, two. I don't know why with Pete I want to go after the high ones. Every time I do that. Go to the bottom of the eighth. Reynolds, Rodriguez, Dozen Rose. Now batting, number 14, the left fielder. Azur, I don't know what you're talking about. Novaman's underneath that one, one way. Now batting, number 56. Gabriel Rodriguez. gets past SKS. There's a base hit with one out here in the bottom of the eighth. Goal takers are getting hits. They're just doing like we do sometimes and they're not getting them in the right order. There's a wild double J appearing. That's a base hit. That's going to put two on now. All right. I think it's time to pull. It's time to pull J2. Who do we put in? Joe. Man, is Double J really the... We'll put in Double J. Popped up. Infield flying effect. Two outs. Double J is the only pitcher on the roster that has zero ERA. I probably just jinxed him. Here's Dave Smacks. Starting catcher tonight. Come on up. Strike three on the double steal. Double J gets us out of the jam. We go to the top of the ninth. SKS, he's 0 for 4. Lethal D. Pants for the cycle. Now batting number 22, the second baseman. Oh, let's see if I can get a hit. Ground out. What a bounce! What a bounce! Right to him. Holy crap. All right, Lethal. Number 86, the first baseman. Pressure's on. y'all wouldn't have said anything about it, I'd have been fine. That one's hit well. Got a little too much air underneath it. Lethal will not do the cycle. Now batting, number 23. That brings up least expected. That one's hit. Left field, base hit with two outs. Top of the ninth. Sorry, Lethal. Now batting, number 54. Reaver, he's got a home run in three singles. He's like, I'm too lazy to do the cycle. Runner goes. Throw. Not in time. Reaver, wait on it. Ground ball right back to the pitcher. That'll take us to the bottom of the ninth. It's the last chance for the Soul Takers. Six, seven, and eight hitters do up. Yeah, I'm not going to put Kamen in. Kamen could set his butt on the bench. He's already made me mad. He cost us two games. It'll be a while before I bring him in again. The right fielder. Can Double J close it out, though? 
Yeah. Not with those control issues. Captain Pete's out there. That's one away. This is a good bounce back game to end the night, I think. <clears throat> Emmett Noggin. We even got to see a Zur coming in. Dramatic effect. Double J's got a chance to be useful here. Nice pitch. Second base. Comes down to Rowan Flounder. Who's tense? Oh, fans not happy about that call. Swing and a miss. Can Double J finish it off with a strikeout? Got him! Holy crap, Double J coming in there. And the Larry Ballers pull off the win. They needed that one. Ballers bounce back after a two-game skid. Take down the Soul Takers, eight to two. You take out that second inning, it would have been a three-two game much closer. Eight hits, or excuse me, eight runs on 14 hits. Two runs on eight hits for the Soul Takers. They got hits, they just didn't have people in the right place. That's rough, Lethal. SKS going 0 for 5. Somebody's going to be tense and set in the bench next game. J2 gets his fifth win of the year. Goes 7 and 1 third. Give up two runs. Double J, or Akkad Ubel J, comes in. One and a two thirds innings. Three strikeouts. So he struck out three of the five he faced. Yaft takes her first loss of the season. Only went four innings. Give up seven runs. Reaver is your player of the game, followed by Lethal D Feline, and then Least Expected. Double J still holding that zero ERA. If you'd have told me that before the season, I would have never said yes. So we stay up three games on the Monarchy. It really depends on who they're going to play next. Justice, can they get another win? They do. Justice moving up. Garlets taking a loss, but it was to the Platypi. Wardens, oh, Wild Pigs getting crushed there. Wardens staying up there. Ooh, B-Wolves jumping back. Top of the 12th, the Chompers win. Four False Knights, at least they're not last. Grimcats. Ooh, move up five and a half games on the Equators now. That division just blew open this episode, or this series. Here's the Monarchy. Can they beat the Sirloins? Oh, my God. They crushed them. They're, they're, I'm scared of them now. Defending champs pick up the win. Soul Takers just don't have spirit. But um, Bobo, statement of the night. Thank you for that. Crocodons, False Knights, getting a win there. Oh, and that's a three-way tie for the Central. Holy crap. And then the Wide Loads come back and beat the Justice somehow. Felines. The Venom. Oh, my God. Just look at this craziness. The Moonstars are only a half a game up over the Soul Takers. The Overdogs are two games behind them. Central Division, three teams are tied for the lead. Venom, Crocodons, and Cockatoos. And there's still just seven runs. Oh my God. And the Venom have it by one run. And if they went to the playoffs, if they were today, I think that the Crocodons or the Cockatoos would not be in it because the Platypi and the Soul Takers have a better record. Wow. Benches only a half game up on the Platypi, three and a half up on the Wardens. So American League is tight. National League, B-Wolves have opened up a three and a half game lead on the Chompers. In the Central Division, we had a big lead 
um, I want to say eight games ago, and it's now down to two and a half and four as the Monarchy and Nemesis have really started to win. I don't know if that's the way the game is trying to like average it out, but that's crazy. Hey, Travis, the unknown. One more for the good guys. And where will Captain Pete get traded to? And then the bottom, Grimcat's five game leads.